Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome, welcome to day five, the end of the first week of our January yoga challenge. I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. I am so glad that you are here with me for today's practice for this challenge. Today, last day of the week, another 15 minute practice. I know you have time for this. So if you're watching, come on, join me, get on your mat, and let's get started in the child's pose. Coming onto your mat. And remember, if you don't have a mat, that's okay. You can still practice with me. Coming into your child's pose. You can have your knees wide. Let your big toes come closer together behind you. They don't have to touch. And your hips can start to soften down towards your heels, right? They might be higher up, that's okay. Extending your arms forward, gently extending your arms forward. Feel your hands on your mat. So all of this, this whole practice, a strong commitment to yourself to show up for this challenge, but more importantly for yourself. And now that you're here, really feel that you can soften into this. Right? And that this balance of strength and softness, you can tap into it through your breath. Together, let's take a big breath in. And a long breath out. A big inhale. And a big exhale. And I mentioned this yesterday, but it's worth mentioning again. Right? If you find yourself scrambling, right, rushing to get this 15-minute practice in, right? now that you're here, you can really let yourself slow down. For me, every time I get on my mat, it's almost this huge sigh of relief, right? A really big breath in. And then, ah, oh, here I am. Here we are. You've made it on to your mat. You are taking a little bit of time for yourself. Allow yourself to soften into it and really enjoy it. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And especially if there's a lot of busyness in your head. Keep coming back to your breath. Feel your hands. Feel your feet. Keep coming back to your body. Once more, a big breath in. And a long breath out. And from here, come on up to your tabletop, hands and knees. Set your foundation so your hands are on your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. Spread your fingers wide. Take up some space with your hands and bring some energy into your hands. Here, extend your right arm lifted forward and your left leg lifted back behind you. So a little bit of balance. You can always work with your left foot down on the ground. Check in with your left hand. Lift out of your left shoulder. You can also make a fist with the left hand if that works better for your wrist. And you can pad your right knee. Feel your low belly draw in and up. And even as you extend your right arm forward, watch out for your shoulder coming up around your ear. See if you can draw that back a little bit. Take a big breath in here. Come on back to your tabletop. Set your foundation. Check in. Now extending your left arm lifted forward and your right leg lifted back behind you. I like to press through my heel here. Right? You can point your toes or press out through the ball of the foot, but absolutely connect through the lifted foot, connect through the lifted fingers. Connect through both feet, both hands, your whole body, so you have a little bit of stability here. And most important, connect with your breath. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, come back to your tabletop. Walk your hands a little more forward. Tuck your toes under and come on into your downward facing dog. Or come back for your child's pose. And as you set this up, maybe a little bit of movement. You can adjust where you have your feet. They're at about hips width distance. You can walk out your dog. If you walk out your dog, let it be intentional. And so you're moving with breath, and you can feel everything that you are doing. It is only 15 minutes. Right? Try not to rush through it. Notice if that happens. Notice if you are already 
anticipating the end of this time. Allow yourself to come back. Take a big breath in. Then a long breath out. And if you find yourself with your shoulders forward, maybe a bend in your knees so you can lift your hips a little bit higher. And that'll help you lift out of your shoulders and your wrists, bringing your chest a little closer to your legs. Take one more deep breath in here. And as you exhale, make your way up to the front edge of your mat. Set your feet at about hips width distance. Here, bend your left knee. Your right hand can come in front of your feet. Tented fingers is nice, or your hand on a block. And then start to twist to your right, lengthening through your right leg, lengthening your right arm up. Both feet are set, but soften your toes. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Another big inhale here. And then as you exhale, let your right hand come down. Bring it in front of your feet. Bend your right knee and take your left arm up to the sky. Soften your toes. So there's this tendency, I find, to want to hang on with the toes when there's any kind of balance involved. And there's balance involved in everything. Lift out of your right shoulder. Lengthen through your left leg, your left arm. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Another big inhale. And as you exhale, left hand comes down. You can keep your feet apart or walk them closer together. And with soft knees, rise to stand. Come all the way up here. Hands reach high. Lift up. You can even look up. Take a big breath in. Hands to your heart as you exhale. Set your gaze. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. You can set an intention for your practice today. Together, let's take a big breath in and a long breath out. As you inhale, sweep your arms up, reach up, lift up, fold forward, exhale. Soft knees as you fold. Let your head drop. Come on into your halfway lift, your flat back. Take a couple of breaths here. So really, tapping into the length of your spine, accentuating the length in your spine. So you can get a little taller as you practice. Still grounded through your feet, strong and steady. Take a big breath in. Fold forward. Exhale. Inhale. Rise up. Lift and reach. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Flat back. Inhale. Bring your hands to your mat. Step back to your high push-up, your high plank. Knees can be lifted or they can drop down for more support. Use your hands for support. Lengthen through your fingers. Spread your fingers apart. Lift out of your shoulders. Take a big breath in. Knees lifted or lowered. Move forward halfway down or all the way down for your low push-up. You can drop your knees here as well. Inhaling to your upward dog, your cobra, or your low cobra. Take another big breath in. And as you exhale, make your way back to your downward dog or add in your child's pose. Right, maybe you just drop your knees down and work with that puppy dog pose, right? Part tabletop, part downward dog. Right, whatever variation you're in, you are fully here. Right, take a big breath in and a long breath out. Take another big inhale and as you exhale, make your way to the front edge of your mat. Find your flat back halfway lift. Fold forward, exhale, inhale, come on up to stand. Rise and reach and lift. Fold forward, exhale. Soft knees as you fold, you can let your head drop. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale. Hands to your mat, stepping back to your high push-up. Again, knees lifted or lowered. Shift forward, halfway down or all the way down, low push-up. Inhaling. Upward dog, your cobra or your low cobra, and as you exhale, back to your downward facing dog. So here on day five, you probably noticed that, yeah, we start pretty much in the same way. We move through some sun salutations, right? sun salutations, just to loosen everything up, help you to get into your body, right? create your own flow. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, make your way to the front edge of your mat. Set your feet. Find your flat back, your long spine. Fold forward. Exhale. Inhale. Come on up to stand. 
all the way up. Rise up, reach up, lift up. Draw your hands to your heart. Set your gaze here. One unmoving point. Set your right foot flat on your mat and come on into your tree pose. Find a place for your left foot to land on your right leg. And we did this pose, we came to this pose earlier this week. So you can notice, how does it feel today? And even when it's the same pose, it's different day to day, moment to moment. Whatever hand variation you like here, you can have them up or out to the side. Even staying in the pose, right? You might notice little shifts, little changes. Maybe you notice you're a little unsteady. That's okay, you can come out of the pose and come back into it. Stay grounded through your right foot, your right leg is active. Strong through your core, chest lifts here. Soften your shoulders. Now, have your hands higher, bring them to your heart, and keep your left knee lifted, but point it forward. And extend out through your left foot. Press your left heel forward. The tendency here is to lean back, so lift yourself up, stay really tall and upright, and notice you started to hold your breath or hold on with your toes. Take one more big inhale. Left foot lightly lands beside the right. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Set your gaze, set your left foot, and set up for your tree pose on this side. Right toes low, right foot against the left ankle. You can play around with bringing that foot higher, catch it, and place it on your inner thigh. Your practice, your variation. And that can be really empowering to feel, right, that you get to create your own experience right here, right now, even with me as your guide. Right, whatever variations you like, you can adapt this in any way that works for you. Remember, if you're wobbly, you don't have to hang on. You can come out of it, come back into it. Keep it simple. Take a breath in and a breath out. Now keep your right knee lifted, but point it forward and extend out through your right leg. Press your right heel forward like you're going to push something away from you. Soften your shoulders. Stand a little bit taller, strong through your core. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, right foot down beside the left. Hands reach up here, lift up, look up, a big inhale, fold forward, exhale. Walk your feet apart, about hips width distance, right? and that's pretty much two fists between your feet with your peace fingers. Hook your big toes so your palms face each other. Pull up against your hands, lengthen your spine, draw your spine into your body, come a little bit forward to the balls of your feet, take a deep breath in, and now as you exhale. Start to fold forward. So you can use this hold on your toes to gently draw you into the forward fold. A bend in your knees is really helpful. Take your time with this. So if you find that you are in more of a halfway lift, that's all right, work with that. Work with your breath. Work with your body. You are strengthening your body, your heart, your spirit, even your mind, your ability to focus as you soften into where you are, as you let this practice meet you where you are. You can add a little bit of movement, even as you hold your toes, soften the other toes. If you're not holding your toes, that's all right as well. Your variation. Take a big breath in, and a long breath out. Once more, a big inhale. And as you exhale, release your toes. You can keep your feet as they are or walk them closer together. Halfway lift on your inhale. Bring your hands to your mat. Step back to your high push-up. Set yourself up here. Strong core. Big breath in. Forward. Halfway down or all the way down. Low push-up. Inhale. Upward dog your cobra or your low cobra. And as you exhale, back to your downward facing dog. Take a long breath in. Open your mouth, empty out. Ah. Bring your knees down. Come on back to your child's pose. Big breath in. Long breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Feel where you are. Feel that you have. You have completed 
your practice today. You can take some time here. Feel that you have completed five days of daily yoga practice. That's a great accomplishment. Give yourself some credit for this. Again, you can take as much time as you like here. Take your time. Right, this is the end of our day five practice. This is the end of the first week of our January yoga challenge. You did it. Congratulations. I'm so glad that you have been here with me for this practice in this week. I'm looking forward to practicing with you next week as well. Remember, I'm Heather. I'm the Bent Yogi. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Most important, take care of yourself, take care of each other. And I'll see you on your mat next week. Oh.